Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this is the day that we've all been waiting on. We finally now have official details of the Sprint and T-Mobile merger and how it is going to be structured. So it looks like Dish, which we already knew, is going to get 9 million of Sprint's prepaid customers. Also, Dish is going to get only 600 megahertz band 26, valued at 3.5 billion. That is the uh, first part of the divestures. Uh, Dish is going to get boost for 1.5, 1.4 billion, I believe, which is going to equal a total of five billion dollars. This is the uh, first part of the divestiture. The other uh, conditions are Dish is going to have to have eSIM support to make it easier to switch uh, between carriers. I think in the future, all carriers are gonna have this anyway, but that is one of the conditions. The other conditions is they don't have to uh, meet the sales price until after three years. So they have three years to pay that 3.5 billion to get the uh, uh, band 26 spectrum from Sprint. So that is another conditions. And also while I'm uh, telling you guys this, there will be further details coming. So I will have to keep you up to date to that as well. Also, if you are a customer on Sprint and you have a newer device, it looks like you're going to be switched over to the T-Mobile network almost immediately. Also, another thing I want to point out, the states are still not satisfied. So they are going to continue their lawsuit as they continue this lawsuit until October. Sprint and T-Mobile are not going to combine the networks until the court rules either that they're going to throw out the lawsuit or they win or lose the lawsuit and then they will uh, take it appeal and take it to higher courts. So this is official information as I had mentioned. I will leave the article to, the dis to this in the description down below. If you are not subscribed, you can pause this video and read it for yourself. This is the info that I have for now. Currently, as the market closes, the media will be advised on how it is all going to take place tomorrow. So this is the official tissue, official reporting that tomorrow the Department of Justice is going to announce that this merger will be approved and um, that they are not going to sue against it. So definitely stay tuned for more. I will keep you guys up to date. This is breaking news. I wanted to make this really quick for you guys. But as it stands right now, the new T-Mobile will only have to give up band 26. They get to keep the remainder of the spectrum that they have and band 41 remains untouched. So definitely leave all the comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you guys. Is this a shock? Did you think this was going to get uh, get through or you thought this was going to get blocked? If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Also, make sure to follow all of my social media outlets for more updates. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.